Solve for integers x and y. There are two variables and one equation. The left side of the equation is a quadratic expression in x. We move the term on the right side of the equation to the left side of the equation. Then the original equation becomes a quadratic equation in x, in the form of ax squared, plus bx, plus c, equals 0. Where a equals 3, b equals 10, and c equals, 5 minus 9 times 2 to the power of y. The discriminate of the quadratic equation, is equal to, b squared, minus 4ac. Which is equal to 10 squared, minus 4 times 3, times 5 minus 9 times 2 to the power of y. 10 squared, minus 4 times 3, times 5, equals 100, minus 60, which is equal to 40. So we can now write, equals 40 plus 4 times 3, times 9 times 2 to the power of y. The two terms have a common factor 4, so they can be written as, 4 times, 10 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y. Because x and y are integers, so the discriminate delta must be a perfect square. We let delta equal k squared, where k is an integer. So 4 times, 10 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y, equals k squared. If y is less than 0, then 2 to the power of y, is not an integer. 4 times, 10 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y, cannot be a perfect square. If y equals 0, then 4 times, 10 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y, equals 4 times 37. Which is not a perfect square. As 37 is not a perfect square. Thus, y must be greater than or equal to 1. This implies that, 10 and 2 to the power of y, have a common factor 2. So the left side of the equation can be written as, 4 times 2, times 5 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y minus 1. This implies that, 2 divides 5 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y minus 1. Otherwise, 4 times 2, times 5 plus 27 times 2 to the power of y minus 1, cannot be a perfect square. As 5 is odd. So 27 times 2 to the power of y minus 1 must be odd. If y is greater than 1, then 27 times 2 to the power of y minus 1, is even. So y can only equal 1. Now substitute y equals 1 in equation 1, we have, 3x squared, plus 10x, minus 13, equals 0. We will use the factorization method to solve this quadratic equation. 3 has factors, 1 and 3. And negative 13 has factors, negative 1 and 13. It is easy to check that, 1 times 13, plus 3 times negative 1, equals 10. So the left side of the equation can be factorized and written as, x minus 1, times 3x plus 13. The product of two terms equals 0. So either x minus 1 equals 0, or 3x plus 13, equals 0. For x minus 1 equals 0, we have, x equals 1. For 3x plus 13 equals 0. There are no integer solutions. Thus, x, y, equals 1, 1, is the only solution.